Okay, answer. Please, Shamsi. Shamsi, Shamsi please. Cut. Yeah, he, he, he finished the talk in one thing. That's it. Right, I'm done, man. No, you, don't you, just, you just want to just want to listen to me, Shamsi. I understand. I got a nice voice. Oh, please. Sorry. Yeah, please, please. So my argument was at times Jews have tra been treated well under Islam, at other times they haven't. And then they brought up the Muhammad and I and the, the and the, the Jews breaking their treaty and the, the Jews from 13 upwards males being beheaded. And I said, as a non-Muslim, you make it so dramatic. I don't. Well, it is pretty dramatic. As a non-Muslim, I don't feel a loyalty to defend that. As a Jew, that scares me a little bit because I can look at that historically and say that strikes me as wrong. I can look at today. Jews still aren't allowed back to Mecca and Medina, even though we lived there before Islam, and we're, and we're not allowed back there because uh, no. of what happened 1,400 years ago. I noticed Joseph, you know, yeah. even because I, I don't want to speak to him because I, you I told you oh, yeah. already the reason the being. Zionists worry him. Uh, the reason being because me, I'm here, of course, without any doubt, I will not. Last time I didn't shake your hand, not because you're a Jew. I shake many people's hand, they were Jewish or Christians. The reason being because you support a Zionist terrorist state. Understand, and I'm here to defend my brothers and sisters, Palestinian brothers and sisters who are it's suffering. It's funny how the Jews aren't your brothers okay. and sisters, but the Palestinians okay. are Shamsi. Well, Islam, yes, without any doubt, without any doubt. Many, many of the Palestinians aren't Islam. They don't mean they are, many look, look, Christian. many people here, they're not my friends. No, sorry, many people here, they're not my friends, but that doesn't necessitate I should oppress them. So oh, that's not this is, uh, but me, you, you, me, Okay, okay, let's say this respect. Many I'll people here, up. out here, they know my friends, yeah. okay? Because this term friend and a brother and sister has to be put in its places. I cannot lie to you, I said you're my brother, which I don't believe that, okay? So it doesn't not necessitate, because I don't believe you're my brother or why? my friend, to oppress you. I consider you, you my brother. That's uh, what you do. Uh, that's not true. So why why yeah, am I not? Uh, what does a brother mean? What does a brother mean? Yeah. We're family. No, no, it doesn't mean that. From the seed of Ibn Abdullah, he's Salam. Do you believe other Jews are your cousins? Your cousins? Yeah. Oh, wait, will, you, will you call me a cousin you then, Shanti? See what I'm saying? So we're not no, brothers. No, no, Shanti, will you call so me a cousin? So I correct you, we're not will, brothers. Will you call me a cousin? What about brothers in humanity? What about brothers in humanity? If you're an Israelite, if you are an Israelite, if you are an Israelite. I'm an Israelite. Okay, so you're a cousin. Fine, yeah, because I'm, I'm an Ishmaelite. Your cousin. I'm, I'm an Ishmaelite. I'm an Ishmaelite. <laughs> okay, now, let's go back to the main point. My point here is, doesn't mean because I don't hold someone, my brother or my friend, therefore I should oppress him or wrong him. Rather, I still be merciful toward him. I still help him if he needs any help and everything. Let's go back to the main point that which I noticed, Joseph. Yeah. Many people use this argument about the Messenger of Allah sallam, try to criticize him. And as I have mentioned, no one can criticize Prophet Muhammad sallam, except with the lies and the falsehood and deception. In Medina, they use it, the Christians use it, some people use it. But I'm very surprised how come no one speaks about when Moses in the Genesis or Deuteronomy, when he said when you enter to the city, kill every woman and every man, or kill every woman, no sorry, kill every man and every woman. Where does it say that? Okay, let's get the Bible. No, 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 it's fine. It's no, 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 Shamsi. No, no, Shamsi, no, 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 it, it says that in many places. But watch this, watch this, Shamsi. Uh, well, yeah. No, no, watch. I will say that morally, Sorry. I think it was wrong to murder, or not to murder, to kill people yeah. based on where they lived or what their beliefs are or whether they're at war, women, children. I can say that. Most of the Muslims I speak to here will not turn around and say that. They will not say it was wrong. Mo just spent the last 15 minutes trying to find why Muhammad was justified in beheading 13-year-old boys. Okay, wait, so wait, I, wait, wait, Joseph, wait. So wait, I don't know, I just wait, said I have No, wait, wait, wait. So you, do you reject the Bible? I don't reject the Bible. So who is God, who is God, does God command to do wrong? So again, you're, you're moving the goalposts. No, no, I'm not moving. No, no, I want to do, Joseph. I want to show the hypocrisy of some Jewish when they use the, the Old Testament to justify why they should be in Palestine. I'm, I'm going to go one Allow better than you. I'm, I'm going to go one better than you. Though. I'm showing the hypocrisy of the Jewish when they utilize the Old Testament to justify why they should be in Palestine. But on the other hand, they reject what God said, yeah. kill the babies and children. Perfect. Perfect. So be consistent. Do, no, you let, let me, let me Do you accept everything in the Old Testament? So let me answer. Let me answer. Let Take me answer. Time. So within the Old Testament and the Quran, both books, Say that slavery is okay. I'm asking no, you. No, 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 no. I know. Shamsi, no, let me answer it. Shamsi, if we're going to talk, Shamsi, if we're going to talk, Shamsi, if you're going to talk, we weren't talking about 
Shamsi, 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 we weren't talking about we weren't talking about the Old Testament. Shamsi, Shamsi, stop! No, 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 Shamsi, bro, bro, he can stop dominating the debate. We were talking about Shamsi, Shamsi, Shamsi. Look, look what you've done, Shamsi. Look what you've done. I'm just going to point. Shamsi, I'm going to Shamsi, Shamsi. I'm going to point out what you did. Yeah, we were talking about Mecca and Medina. You came along and started talking about the Old Testament. I then brought a different thing, which was the Old Testament and the Quran to make a comparison. So we both changed the conversation, we and we, we were talking about what happened to the Jews in Mecca and Medina. Yeah. Or Medina, 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 yeah, but Medina. And what, and what did you then come with? You then started talking about the Jews in the time of Moses, yeah? yeah. So you changed the goal. No, 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 finish, no, finish. So what I was going to do is, so I think, let me, let me, Shamsi, I'm just going to come down. Does anyone have a pen and paper to write down the point? You said, I've changed there, the, 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 the goal. No, 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 not the, you are answering this question by referencing my book, which we weren't doing, which is fine. You're entitled yeah. to do that in a debate. I was then responding to your point by referencing two other points in both of our books to explain where, how my morality works, yeah? Because you're asking me moral questions, you're asking, is this right or wrong? I'm, and I'm, I'm giving... Ask you that, so, 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 Joseph, let me, ask you that. Shamsi, let me, Shamsi if we're going to talk, you have to let me speak. But you're putting words in my mouth, Joseph. And you're putting... Okay, so just let me speak and then you can respond, okay? Okay, so, okay. All right, no so slavery is permissible in both the Quran and in the Torah. Assalamu alaikum. From Singapore. Allah. Um, and in both books, it's legitimate. Muhammad kept paper, slaves. Paper. Muhammad also freed paper, slaves. Paper, please, because, uh, I don't want to Shamsi, 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 focus. Yeah, yeah, but I want to focus, focus, Shamsi. I want to focus, but as long, get paper. Because why? Well, you must going to run out. No, it's just going to be down to the Dow channel. Don't be scared. So I'm going to write down the points. <laughs> so uh, slavery, eh, both of them. Well, okay, let's see all this. Slavery, both of them writes. It's, it's, both, both books. Both. Yeah, that's how. That's how do with some people. Yeah, this is no. <laughs> no, no, it's full. It's full. But you know, uh, debate a lot it's of full. It's full. It's anyway. too much debating. Alright, go, no, so, go so, on. Let me make my point. This is distracting. So, both books say slavery is permissible, yeah. but bacon is forbidden. Yeah. So when you speak to Muslims, Jews, Christians, many will do intellectual acrobatics to explain why back then slavery was okay, but why now maybe it isn't. But no, no, Jew, no, no Muslims, Jews or Christians will ever say that it's morally wrong to keep, keep slaves. I will say, my belief is it's morally wrong to keep slaves. And the only people I ever meet who try to de defend the institution of slavery are religious people in all of our camps. I argue with Jews about this, I argue with Muslims about this, and I argue with Christians about this. So for me, I follow the Torah because it's my ancestral tradition. It's what my people follow. But I have been conditioned by the society that I've grown up in. And today, slavery is frowned upon. And I look at slavery as wrong. I look at the ways we fought wars back then as wrong. I look at the death sentences and I look at my rabbis and my own rabbis looked at them. And so basically in Judaism, you have similar death penalties to it within Islam. And we have a, how Jewish law works is in each generation, the rabbis are allowed, which the Quran says, the rabbis are allowed to define what the law is. And so, you would imagine the most moral thing you can do, the most just thing you can do, the most merciful thing you can do as an Orthodox Jew is put somebody to death for a sin that they may have committed. However, 2,000 years ago, our rabbinic courts, put, longer than that, put huge provisions in place to make it virtually impossible to carry out the death sentence. Why? Because the moral philosophy that drives Judaism, which moves beyond the little details that you're picking up, is actually one of liberation, is actually one of minimizing. Just like with when you speak to any very knowledgeable Muslim like um, Shamsi, Shamsi. I'm not knowledgeable well, by the way. Uh, I, I like uh, complimenting you, Shamsi. Say, You're well dressed say, and knowledgeable say, with a nice say, suit. You know, the, the one I want, the, the one eye guy, where is he? King in, the, in, the, uh, in the, the King of Blind. Yeah. Um, I'm one eyed uh, person. Sorry, and, sorry. and so, what, what I was trying to say with that is. Yeah, so, I'm so, so, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. And so, no, absolutely, I won't cut you. And so, so from my position from, and the Jewish position, we've always interpreted our text and made moral calls. When Chazal, the rabbis who decreed it, was very, made it virtually impossible to put someone to death, they did that because they didn't want to put people to death, even though the Torah says this is what you should do. And I'm no different. So I think slavery is moral. I think capital punishment is wrong. And despite both of these institutions being within my book, so hopefully that clarifies my position. It hasn't to be honest because <laughs> you are, uh, 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 Joseph, I respect, it's like someone asking him, what is your name? And he said, my father goes gym. 
That was not my question. Your father goes gym or doesn't. That's not my question. I said it was. So no, no. So remember, according to what he said, was he dealing with my discussion or he went off? To, to me, he yeah. was clear. He was saying that it's, it's morally wrong. How the punishment is wrong. Okay. The slavery is wrong, and things have moved on. It's, it's basically. So did that talk about slavery? Pardon? My discussion was not about slavery. No, but you asked him about. No, my question was when God said to kill. Was it right or wrong? That was a clear question. Even a baby can understand it. However, because I give him time, so let me go back. Slavery. First of all, in Islam, the messenger of us from Mount Angus slavery, let me put it in the bracket. The uh, transatlantic slavery, okay? In Islam, this term, I, I, me, myself, I don't like to use it because when you use it in our time, can easily be misunderstood, okay? The messenger of Allah Sallallahu said in the Hadith, which is in Bukhari, he said, Allah will be the opponent of a person goes and take a person, a free person, and enslave him. And it's exactly what the transatlantic was based upon. Going to Africa, taking a free man and enslaving them. In Islam, we have something called al-riq. What is al-riq? Is the war. When there is a war between two countries, legislative war. Not the war of some group of people coming together, killing innocent people on train, in a buses. No, no, no. Legislative war. Then... The outcome of war, then you are allowed to take the hostages. We call them war hostages. So this term slavery, if the European fought Islam, they wouldn't get involved in the evil slavery, which is in a bracket, trans -Atlant Atlantic slavery. Okay, however, they utilize the Bible to justify that. Because that is in the Bible, not in the Quran. Because there is no verse in the Quran. Like, likewise, there is no narration, uh, there is no narration from the Messenger of Allah stating that we should go and enslave the people. There is none of that. So there is none. Ra reason. Rather, what is in Islam, that you get a reward when you, when you, when you free someone who is taken as a war hostage. And again, in a war, there is a free, free, uh, free choice for the leader, for the Muslim leader. Either he can take them as a war hostage, but the Messenger of Allah said, take care of them just as you take care of yourself. Treat them the way you treat yourself and your family. Or we can exchange them with the other Muslim prisoners. Or he can ask for the, the money and uh, free them, or he can free them for, like the Messenger of Allah did when the Battle of Badr. Or one of the battles, he freed the whole, everyone, he freed them. Okay? So we're not talking about slavery. Okay, the other thing that, of course, in the Bible clearly, many passages encourage the Israelites to go and enslave people. It's well known, well established, he cannot deny it. So my main point here, I want to take it back because I don't want to go too many uh, things. When God, according to Genesis, when God said to Moses to kill a babies and to kill a, uh, to kill a, to kill a man and a woman, in another passage which is in Leviticus or Numbers, to kill every woman slept with a man, was he right, God, or was he wrong? No, I already answered that, Sean. No, you haven't. You told me about the rabbi. No, I'm no, asking no. you I simple. Said, I said, just like when the slide, just, just so it's very clear, because you, you obviously didn't yeah, was catch he right or wrong? Your That's what you want to know. So I'm going to answer. Go Again, I don't dictate how we do answer. You allow me to answer in my own way. As long as you ask the question. Yeah, yeah. Yes, go please. On. So, just as I said, the institution of slavery is immoral. I believe it. What does moral mean? What is moral? What? Moral means something which is like right, right or wrong. Right, yeah. 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 Who's right? And so when I'm saying that slavery is immoral, what am I saying? So who's right? No, immoral. Uh, immoral is wrong. Yeah, so I'm saying that slavery is immoral. When I say that capital punishment is immoral, so what God am I saying? So God wrong. That's my question. So, so you have to show me where God says that. Okay, and, and how, and how, and Genesis 19, 20. Shamsi, 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 even further no, I have to show you, I have to show you. No, no. But, but what I want to go to, you said in the Quran. No, no, before, no, no, no. before we go to anyone else, I'll let you speak for long. You know, I want to answer my question, which I started. And I was going to stop you because I know many people don't know. When you're debating and having a discussion or having a dialogue, you have to know how to stop a person before he goes off to China or different country. Because China, otherwise, you start talking about China. We're not talking about China Wait, to begin Shamsi, with. Shamsi, with the greatest okay. respect, that's what you did. No, we no, no, no. Medina I'll tell you and what, you away no, 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 no. I did it. I didn't. You know what I did? What, yeah. what happened in Medina? Shamsi, you dictate the way no, that the no, 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 works. No, no, you, no, say no. How, hey, you, you dictate how an answer can be given. No, I'm not dictating. You are. You it's not. I'm just asking you, Joseph. So I, I go to answer you in my words, hey, 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 and you say, no, you have to answer this way. Okay, I say we're I, talking I about Mecca and Medina. You say, no, 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 we're talking about I'm Israel. Not, okay, let me justify that. When you talk, sure, you talk about Medina. You keep saying Mecca and Medina. You talk okay, about Medina. Okay. The reason I mentioned the Old Testament, because if you know the story of Medina correctly, what Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad said? Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad said, your judgment, oh Sa'ad, Prophet Muhammad said to Sa'ad, you, oh Sa'ad, your judgment is according to Allah's judgment. The scholar, Muslim scholar said, 
that judgment exactly what is being mentioned in the Old Testament. That when you go to a city and you uh, 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 besiege a village or the city, then what you do, you kill every man, okay? And you spare the rest because they are children or they are women, which is an Islam and Allah. You don't spare them, so, you capture them. Yeah, yeah, I'm, you, I'm keep, you keep the women yeah, as spoils. Yeah, yeah. You take care of them without any doubt. No, no, yeah. no, not take care of them. You keep them as spoils. Bro, bro, what is spoils? No, no, listen. Again, me, I'm very concise when it comes to terms that has been used in English language. What does it mean, spoils? It means it's the property of the person who acquires them. Like Sophia as an example. How would how did Sophia come to be Muhammad's wife? Because her, her husband and the people of Sophia wage a war against the Messenger of Salem. So if Rasulullah left them, who's going to take care of them? No, 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 no. no, no, no what no, happened first? Wait, what happens before wait, then? Wait, I say, they were, no, no, before they wage a war against them. him. Who was going to, who was who first picked Sophia? Who first picked Sophia? Who first picked Sophia? Someone else picked Sophia, Sahabi. Yeah. And then what happened? The Sahabi came to the Messenger of Allah because she was a woman with honor. And with status, he said, doesn't not be fit no one except your exactly. own message of Allah. So, so no, no, wait, 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 no, wait, 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 wait. Again, you're missing the point. The point here is slavery that, is but wrong. let us understand correctly. Again, the slavery, we don't believe this term, okay? Again, what would you beat your slave? Allow me to, allow me, allow me to finish. Again, according to the Bible, you can, uh, you can even uh, do whatever you like. You can treat them like animals. Yeah, and exactly, I'll, I'll, step by step. He asked no, me, no, 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 see, I'll let him speak for long. Look at how he's yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Where in the Bible does it say all the things you're claiming? He's not allowed me to finish. Okay, That's why he's here. Where? Uh, he's coming to you. Are you a Christian, by the way, or Jew? It's irrelevant. It is irrelevant because if you're Jewish, you're going to get a heart attack. <laughs> uh, what is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just waiting for something to go to the Hebrew. No, no, no. Is it? Well, while you're looking at that, Shamsi, I'll, I'll say my points, okay? No, 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 you can't bring other points. Okay, no, but it's just a threat. Brother Samji. Go, go. Uh, uh, Brother Samji. Moses to uh, kill, uh, 2021. Brother Samji, can you give me one second? No, 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 we're in the middle of a debate here. Take a picture for Singapore. Well, I don't like pictures. Well, I don't know one, I don't know if you would take pictures. I don't like this, you know. Just for Singapore. Shamsi, how much should you pay him to do this? Thank you. That when God told Moses to go besiege. Uh, 2021, I believe. Okay, so Shamsi, while you're looking up that. The, the, the law of the war. The law of the war. While you're looking up that, I'm going to read a few of my, no, my uh, quotes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's please, please, so, my point, look, I'm asking you simply. You haven't asked my question, Joseph. I've answered every single No, time. Joseph. If you, you haven't you understood no, my point, that's jo not my Joseph, 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 Shamsi. Joseph. Joseph, the, the, the question, question is is it right or wrong for the Jews to. I asked that. Was God right when he said to do it? You're saying God said to do it. Yes. Was he right? So he's saying God said to do it. Yeah, was he I'm right? Show me the sword. I'm going to show you. Yeah, so but my question, was he right if he, if he said it? So I, again, when I read the source, I'll respond. Until you bring the source, I'm not going to respond. It's here. It's here. It's here. Look. What verse no, is it? No. Therefore, the, kill every male among the little ones. So, so how, and kill every woman that had known man by so laying with him. The Hebrew. Yes. Go. So now, who's, go, who's read it? You can read it as well. But he's going to the Hebrew. Yeah, yeah. No, no, even go to the old Hebrew. It's going to help you. It's so clear. Even what was that, 3117? There's another one which is Ahi. Numbers 3117, Someone get us a Bible, if you can. Ask one of the brothers, because in the, uh, the low one is exactly what Sa'd ibn Mu'ad did in Medina. Exactly when he besieged them. That's why the ulama said what Sa'd ibn Mu'ad did was exactly according to the Old Testament. However, the Christians here, they have no problem when the Israelites kill babies and children. Like what the Jewish. But they come, they have a God to come and speak against our beloved Prophet Muhammad. I'm here to defend his honor. Nothing he did except that was a pure goodness.